Hey guys, let's get into the video without wasting any time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Room quality of the hostel. Room quality. So how comfy were the beds, guys? First, let me tell you, Nip. When you get to the hostel, when you check in, you go to the matron's office and then you sign a paper. Like, it's like a registered type of paper. And then it's like, it has like mattress, bed, cupboard, bin, curtains because you get two curtains for the room there are two windows so we had two rooms uh two curtains in the room like you mark each and everything that is in your room am i and then at the end of like the line you sign the in part it says under in you sign you know it's like, then you're like yes that is me i'm in and then you carry your mattress up to the room whoa i did not like that experience the mattress was heavy the low the, luckily like because i didn't have anyone like my roommate had not moved in at the time yet my cousin already like dropped me off i didn't know about these things i thought the mattresses would already be laid down on the beds and whatnot hello no honey mm -hmm. so the matron and i she's she's a sweet person auntie rosie shout out to her she's a sweet sweet lovely human being um she helped me carry it up thing was heavy but boy was it uncomfortable it was hard you are those mattresses guys i don't know maybe you have to get like a fluffy foam mattress thing to put on top of the mattress because yay it takes time to get used to mm -mm. it's like you sit on it and there's no bounce it's just blah, you sit it's finished clap it was hard i don't know how i fell asleep that night but yeah i fell asleep at all Hmm, it was hard enough privacy in the hostel except for sharing the room with your friend yeah there is privacy sometimes your friend might have other friends in the hostel because you just get paired up with a random person unless you have like another friend and you guys discuss with each other like amongst each other and with the matron to swap people like swap uh, roommates like it's you have to you know always go by the books so um yes unless you do that you're not allowed to swap partners you have to talk to the partners and then talk to the matron if the matron is like no it's fine you guys can swap and then you can do with your friend in the room otherwise if your friend has other friends in other rooms in the hostel they might come over to visit and spend time with uh your, your roommate and they will make noise they will make noise um for me i didn't mind because i i'm a friendly person so i got to know my roommate friends and they also became friends over time and luckily they were sweet human beings so weren't obnoxious so um yeah i also enjoyed their company if not i was just you know taking my naps doing whatever i i don't mind being around people unless they're annoying the hell out of me which um it didn't get to uh -huh, but i had a friend i have a friend um that had a new roommate and that roommate unfortunately for her had a lot of obnoxious a lot of obnoxious friend where the friend would just show up to the room without knocking just enter the room um you know basically just causing havoc so sometimes you have to put your foot down because at the end of the day you're here for your education you're paying the same fees that the person is paying so they have to mind your privacy like you have to stand up for yourself this is survival of the fittest out here so you have to make your voice heard do not be stepped on okay yeah it's just your sister giving you advice and this is for the, your entire life don't let anyone ever walk all over you yeah be friendly and whatnot but know when to say no because if you don't they're gonna take advantage of you this is windu i'm telling you life out here ain't easy and don't come think that oh we're gonna go party and uh -huh. okay yeah but be safe because guys it is tough out here adequate lighting and ventilation yes like i said we had two windows there was enough light good but i think like okay yeah sorry i forgot to mention that you get two separate desks when you're like in your room and whatnot there's a pair of everything there's twice as much whatever like i have my stuff you have your stuff you know you all you both have equal things from the hostel itself 
so you have your own desk and it has either two or one drawers you know and the chair for yourself and the other person also has their own chair so i advise you get a bedside lamp um because maybe you might be doing a different course than your partner or you might have the same course or you just did your work late in the night or you're like a night owl or whatever just make sure to have a nightstand because the person might want to like want to sleep and the light is on and it's disturbing them and you are still wide awake and you want to finish your work get out of the way like it's just convenient to have a bedside lamp so you can switch off the main lamp and you can just use your desk lamp and do your work so it'll be convenient for both you and your roommate just to avoid any confrontation or conflict noise levels uh the only noise levels i experienced were when we were studying for exams in the dining hall there's the word that i was forgetting this whole time not eating hall dining hall so the in the dining hall there were a group of girls that were obnoxiously loud so luckily i had my headphones i would just blast my white noise or whatever background noise was studying and it would tune them out otherwise i would walk up to the people and ask like guys can you please just keep it down we are trying to study and you guys are a bit distracting like luckily they were like nice enough to keep it down because yeah mm -mm, i can't stand you like just be considerate of, considerate of others and if you do naturally have a loud voice before you come here please learn how to control your voice because some of these girls are not meant to be played with they will show you through colors make sure that you are checked you are your noise level the decibels must they must be down cleanliness unless okay depending on if you have a roommate or not if your roommate is not clean your room ain't gonna be clean if it's clean it's gonna be clean that's a given so you just have to talk to your roommate about it if you're messy please you are an, you are an adult now you're in university so you have to be able to keep your side of the room clean a eh? don't let your partner come tell you Bruh, like can you at least clean your side of the room like have designated days where you guys maybe like do like a cleaning your room like you sweep i mop da, 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 let's go you know don't come give other people's children headaches here for nonsense were there any issues with pests or cleanliness no i don't remember seeing pests because they fumigate the place every now and then obviously when the students aren't there so did our guys cockroaches but anyway even if they are or rats see red because on campus either on lower campus or upper campus you will see a cat once in a while because at first it was like a shock for me i was like what are cats doing on campus like is that normal because there was this one cat that was just looking at me and you know coming from a nama like um household you know the parents say like koiske 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 so i was like why is this cat looking at me staring at me like this like just looking at me without like blinking and i'm just like i'm walking minding my business why are you looking at me and the cat is not looking away and i'm like blood of jesus but it didn't do anything so i don't know it was probably a normal cat just curious anyway cleanliness no i don't remember seeing any rats or cockroaches or whatever it was always clean it's always clean and also like in the dining hall there is a zinc so when we eat in trays if you want you can bring your plate and your cutlery and your cup and whatnot so make sure to bring your own cutlery for when you want to use in your room or in the dining hall hey yeah i'm lying in the dining hall you must have your own cutlery so don't forget your butter knife and your fork and your spoon and etc do you want to have your things am i swear y'all mm -hmm. oh yeah i was saying there is a basin close to the entrance so whenever you finish eating you go wash no sorry i'm lying you don't wash the tray come on the tray the 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 yeah it's a tray like you know the ones that you have in a hostel like those trays where it's like this one is for the pap this one's for the meat this one is for the cup this one's for the dessert yeah it's something like that a gray stainless steel obviously because cleanliness you have that one you eating it you don't wash it you just scrape off the food like it's a guys 
if you are a small eater tell the people you are a small eater and to give you smaller portions otherwise they're just gonna give you food and if you can't eat it you can't take it to your room because every food that they serve has to be finished in the dining hall you're not allowed to go with any food from the dining hall into your room even though you paid for it it's just the thing and if you want to eat it later there's no such thing guys there's no such thing you have to finish it there otherwise if you still have leftover food on your tray you have to like scoop it out there are two no there's one big bin or are they two i don't know they swap it out a little bit. there are there is a bin where you scrape off the excess food that is for the leftover food they put it in to the bins and i think they like sell it to local pig farmers where the pig feel always see like this one uncle uh white wumpy coming with his bucky to come collect the food in his bucky worry i in big bins or containers he takes it to the farm and he gives it to the pigs and then i think they have some type of deal because every now and then we eat pork and those porks is big these pig porks those ones so i like yeti pork and ons hella yeti hella credit cost for the pigs van ons af and ons eat the pig what ons kost gegeet om te eet wat ons die pigs kan eet if it makes sense <laughs> yeah my african friends am i let's continue internet and wifi guys when i was in the hostel the wifi didn't like reach the rooms especially like for the first years and second years like that first building you see when you walk in mm -mm, wifi doesn't go there you will find us there on the balcony reaching over a little bit just to get a few buzz for the wifi and then you if you have to research something very quickly and you're like studying in your room or whatever you have to like do it from the balcony go back to your room unless you have your wifi on your phone and you just like I don't know, years we tether it to your PC or your PC also has access or you have a Wi-Fi box, pocket Wi-Fi. Mm. Yeah, if, if you don't have, then you have to depend on the Wi-Fi of the hostel. The hostel Wi-Fi is in the dining hall and the dining hall is a few paces away, a few meters away. So if you don't do your work or if you're not comfortable sitting in the dining hall, you're gonna have to come to the balcony or the benches outside and you're gonna have to sit there where the mosquitoes chow the mosquitoes chow and you're gonna sit and do your work there if not in your room but yeah i advise sitting in the dining hall if you don't have access to wi-fi i'm telling you if you don't have headphones you will suffer the wi-fi is very fast unless it's like where you want to download movies from kuchara like i only learned about kujara when i came to university guys like you get your movies there if that was the thing in university okay last year for me it still is the thing you don't need a another you torrent you don't need another torrent to you know some websites you need to have like the website itself that is online and then you have to have a torrent for you to be able to download the movie but for gujara you don't need a torrent you just download it that and um the quality is nice the sound is nice like everything is nice so sometimes the wi-fi is gonna take a bit of time you know but nas does make sure to provide you with the best wi-fi guys make sure to hydrate and please when you come to the buy mineral water because last year the water literally made me sick and i was like what the heck is going on i was like hey i'm not weak like this i'm strong when the water ain't got nothing on <clears throat> guys it made me sick and i didn't understand what was making me sick at the at the time i only realized when my cousin started supplying me with um mineral water and when i started buying my own mineral water i felt better and i'm anemic meaning like for the sickness or like the illness to get i don't know it like takes a while for the illness or whatever or the flu or whatever to like develop for me like for maybe for someone it'll take like a day or two for the flu to come like that for me it's like i first get the symptoms and then it takes a few days where i'm coughing 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 but it's not like a cold or a flu what or sneezing i don't know but it takes a while like a week or so and then the full-on blown thing hits and then you just like ha -choo -ho -ho, ha -choo -ho -ho. 
and you mm, the I don't know how but the window water just like it made me sick because you know when the water is basically just recycled sewage water you are drinking yours and other thousands of people's poop piss vomit everything you are drinking it i know it's within like it's clean it has chlorine and whatnot but hey it made some of us sick so come with your 20 liter bottle 10 liter 5 liter whatever it is and make sure you get yourself mineral water you can find mineral water at your nearest checkers I almost said you're safe, but yes, at Van Hill, those shops, pick and pay, check us, mm -mm, fruit and veds, all those nice shops you can get, mineral water, also. And when you come to university, you better know how to save money because things are expensive here and you, are not, you must not come waste your parents' money. Okay. Uh, so you don't pay extra fees for the hostel it's free because you're paying all this money for you're paying your tuition fee your hostel fee it's a lot it's a lot so the wi-fi is free on all campuses like uh at the beginning of the year or this yeah obviously the year your first year you go to the you go to the library you go give they ex they give you access to the Wi-Fi, which is also like you give your student card, your student number, and you give they you'll give you'll get it like at the beginning of the year. So you go to the library on lower campus, you get your student number and everything. You give them your student number, and they'll tell you to make up a password. So your password, the first letter should be a capital letter, and then it should have a number in it. So the first letter obviously has to be a capital letter, the rest lowercase letters and then you have to have a number at the end. So yeah, that's how all of the passwords look like and that will allow you to access the Wi-Fi everywhere on upper campus, lower campus and all the buildings. Um, you will be able to access your e-learning, your MS Teams, everything, your Microsoft accounts with this information so with your student card and excuse me with your student card ugh, with your student number and the password you gave to the people you'll have access that is don't forget those things except for the NAS kiosk where you'll have a pin of five digits yeah well you have five digits to as your pin for the NAS kiosk so the kiosk is basically where you have your profile picture and it has your names your information your like it's how you um admit, how you register for attending last and the kiosk and then check in and check out process this is my last point for the hostel so the check in how smooth was check in or check out process so when i came beginning of the year last year 2021 Two, 2022. So I came to the SRCs, which are LRCs in University Senior Learner Representative Council, Senior SR Senior Representative Council, Councillors. Yes. So they, they, okay, they have different divisions. So this group of SRCs will be responsible for the hostel, the others are student affairs, the others are blah, 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 other things I don't know. And for the hostel once, you went in, you sat with the person and then they were like, do you want single room, double room, like da, da, da. you gave them all the answers. And then it took me like, I think um, it took a weekend, if not, three to four days for me to have an answer if I got into the hostel or not so you have to hurry up if you want to stay in the hostel don't miss it for anything if they tell you to come at eight be there by seven already because the queues are long when I tell you long the queues are long I wish I had pictures of how long it was because at the admin block and there are so many offices that you have to go to so like when I came luckily we came early because like at the admin block guys i don't know why but guys for registration week don't don't make the mistake of coming late come an hour and a half or two hours before just to sit in the row because 
people get tired especially like the stuff they get tired and they you don't want that frustration and the lines and the heat and everything you are hungry yoy. those lines will eat you up and spit you out and they the lines curve they curve the people in the they curve to the point where there are no more chairs for you to sit on where you have to lean against the wall to the point where there is nothing to lean on and you have to stand straight in that sun huh don't 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 make the mistake come early or come with a little camping chair or something otherwise you will see what is going on anyway how smooth was the check-in the check-in was smooth the questions were simple they were friendly or he was friendly um even making a couple of jokes you know i wasn't nervous they don't they make you feel welcome like it's a close-knit family you feel very welcome why am i doing that yes like the people's is nice and then check in check up process any delays or issues with the reservations there weren't any delays like everything was smooth they knew what they were doing even though they're students they told you like they texted me no you got the spot so check in or like moving day is 13th february yay if like wow even the move-in was like nice like i prefer to go early for the move in just to get away from family because mm -hmm, i'm a loner anyway yeah like you just want to go in you know and settle in early just to get the feel of the new environment because some of us have trouble sleeping in new environments so you have to get used to the place maybe you have to go to the mall to buy a few more things and whatnot just make sure your things are unpacked and everything before you attend classes because even first day of university sorry <clears throat> even first day of university is tough you will this is not high school it's not high school I'm, I'm telling you it's tough even i was like first week guys we were bombarded with work. that first weekend we were given mm -mm, what is it a lab report that we were we were in the lab and we did some like um lab assignments some lab work it's here uh, the amount of work i literally cried because of the stress and i'm a tough cookie i don't cry for nonsense but school work made me cry it, it made me bawl my eyes out Luckily, my roommate wasn't there at the time. It, I cried because of the pressure. So we had a uh, lab report due. I, I made sure I started Friday. Do you know when I finished? Early Monday morning. Those hours in the AMs. Was, and it was due the Monday. Even though he gave it to us on the Friday. It was due the Monday. And you still had to print and everything. And the printing shop only opens at 8 the printing shop is on upper campus so it only opens at 8 classes start at 7 30 the only time you have a break is at 12 30 so i had to go um during lunch time and the thing is they also close during their own lunch time so if you don't bolt if you don't bolt to the printing shop they will close and your deadline will have been met so some some people would miss a class and you would give them like send them your pdf like please can you print this for me you know a friend and yeah the one person took you know the responsibility for the class or like for the friends they printed the stuff gave it to you you know did you a solid and you handed it in before the end of the day and classes ended four here at university or especially for my course i don't know most courses i believe ended four also if you don't have the breaks and whatnot or your classes end early or whatnot but Traditionally, the classes end at four. So yeah, you have to be a tough cookie when you come to university. So if you're a softie, please work on it during this holiday. Because <clears throat> it is tough out here. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope it was informative. It, I hope it answered all your questions. If you have any more questions that I may have missed, please feel free to ask me and I'll make another video or I'll answer you directly um i thank you guys for the support please don't forget to subscribe it really helps it gives me motivated to see that you guys are actually enjoying the work or the content uh it keeps me going and i really really appreciate um those of you who subscribed if you have not subscribed please do feel free to subscribe 
and like comment share all the good things and i will see you in the next video bye